Crazy shots to the jam jar for having us out. This is April Fools. It's our first April Fools event in five fucking years. I'm not gonna lie. Woo! 2017 event was garbage. We uploaded about one battle. It was terrible. Let's forget that even happened. We're back here. <laughs> this event is already better. Having a great fucking time. It's my birthday. Big up me. Yo, I'm gonna be real. I'm feeling mad awkward. Quill, I've known Quill since 2012. He just bought me a red stripe. I'm, I'm losing my mind. I can't believe it even happened. I'm having the best birthday of all time. Shout out Quill. We're about to get into this battle number three of the day. Another new concept. We've got three 16 bar verses or one minute verse, whatever they choose. Three different rhyme schemes. We picked the rhyme schemes with us. I can't even remember what they are, I'm going to be honest. Um, each round, they're both going to use the same rhyme scheme for one minute. Uh, non judged, obviously, promo. Let's get into it. MC on my left hand side, not his first appearance, don't flop, but his first appearance at April Fools. We've got Jay Franklin. Make some noise, please. And to my right, we've got my mucker, who I'm also battling later in the producer, mm -hmm. no, I'm for battle, and That's he's also battling Hulk as well in the, the Hulk World War. The World War Ting is going to be a crazy clash, I can't wait for that one. Alright, who's going first? Alright, cool. Rhyme scheme number one. Round number one, my guy Jay Franklin. Let's do this, bro. Listening. Listen here, you big-eared, arrogant freak. Why the fuck do you look like every Darren I meet? <laughs> <laughs> this man really reeks. Who's got a can of Febreze? It must be rough pulling girls when every lass in your league looks like Nanny McPhee after being in the ring with Muhammad Ali. <laughs> You seem like the least cool rapper to me. If he says he's on road at night, what he actually means is he's doing this out the window in the passenger seat on a Saturday evening, playing Avril Lavigne. <laughs> In your battle with Reverse, you pretended to choke without having a reason, and it's baffling me. You said, I've got to tell ya, four times, and that was an even stumble, and it seemed like something you would plan to repeat. I watch it back and don't understand why you happen to keep that stupid stammer in peace and your embarrassing scheme. So if context is irrelevant, then right now I may as well just do a fucking backflip and turn this into a gymnastics routine. <laughs> Just Trev, you ain't cold, you're washed. Oh, I'm 30 degrees C, bro, I'm hot. <laughs> well, that's absolutely spectacular, G. How do you manage to speak so miraculously? You make me want to tie a rope around your ankles and leave you attached to a tree so you hang by your feet like a bat that's asleep. Mm -hmm. Then I'll batter and beat you till you're damaged and weak just for thinking you're so fine like the sand on a beach. Mm -hmm. But you belong at the bottom like an anchor at sea. Let's go, make some noise! Than me. Yo, I don't know what led you man to believe that Jay Franklin would be a challenge for me. I'm willing to offer a money back guarantee to every fan that has reached that every angle is repeated from a clash that he's seen on the channel with me. Because he's just some arrogant neat, takes to the gram when he's stressed just to rant for his peeps and he doesn't think to put it in a fucking track to release. Like, do you really not have a passion for this? Like, I mean, answer me. No, I do. I do. No. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. 
Definitely. But when it comes to dragging out schemes that only matter to me and other rappers that see, I've got talent, I've rehearsed it passionately. And I can't remember the rest of it because I'm a fucking idiot. But I wrote this late, but at least I did it fashionably. <laughs> no. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> let's go, round two, man, let's go, let's go. So the other day when I was shopping at Iceland, I saw a horrible sight. It was your mum and all four scoffing the pies. <laughs> Your mum on all four scoffing the pies. She came over and asked me if I wanted a slice. I said, of what? She said, me. And I vomited twice. <laughs> I mean, it did take me a couple bottles of wine, a lot of pints, and a suicide shot to comply. Then I probably might have let her hop on the pipe, and I will put my hands up like a clock at midnight. She is absolutely shocking in size. Too much chocolate and fries. She's like a moth to the light when there's a whopper inside. <laughs> <laughs> her tops are cropped and they're tight She's proper podgy and wide Her body's not for the light hearted It's strongly advised Cause she looks like every demon from a horror combined mm -hmm. But enough of that hog look alike Let's move the focus onto this guy I bet this willy tickler sobs and he cries When he's sausage deprived <laughs> You must be deluded if you think I'll take a loss in this fight. There's more chance if you win in the lottery jackpot in your life. You need to improve, improve your writing game if you want to survive. Because your standards on a scale are opposite mine. I aim for 10 out of 10 when I'm jotting my lines. You only ever reach 6 like the dots on the dice. Let's go! Let's go. Yeah. Well, what a surprise. That whole round was solely comprised of obvious lies and horrible bites because <laughs> you are not one of my. Oh, fuck. Go on, Fuck it. I think it's quite clear that I didn't really bother to try because <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't really know a lot about this guy, but that top is so bright that it's popped my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I wish this wasn't a can, because if I had something else in my hand, you'd get a bottle to the side. <laughs> and I know it's the second round, I've already bottled it twice. <laughs> However, can you please make some noise, because Ooh, I'm going to just cry. <laughs> Pushed it away, just like your mum's horrible thighs. Mm. When, when she wanted to try, mm -hmm. coming to I. She tried to ask me if I wanted to dine and wine, but then I found out that her main hobby was spice, and I kind of just <laughs> dropped it to mine. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Keep going. Come on. Keep going. Can everyone do me a favour? Can Optimus everyone... Prime, come on, we're all waiting for that. Stop it! Stop it! Optimus fucking Prime! I'm going to This guy turned 33 the other day, and the fact that nobody said Optimus Prime is kind of rocking his pride. I mean, he's come down to Bristol, he said, get a bottle and white, and we'll fucking have an obviously great time. <laughs> Cut now. <laughs> no, no. This is the best he's a cop. <laughs> Sorry, make some noise, man. I thought I'd wake up this morning and be in a good mood Then remembered I was meeting this silly buffoon I thought of hitting the snooze button and kipping till noon But I've listened to rumours about Bristol and do Wanna find out if what they've been saying is really true I've heard that this is the best city to choose for events Cause the crowd make it sick in the room so so I'm in your hometown now doing the shit that you do But twice as good, that's why I'm gonna split you in two yeah. 
When you're not billing a zoo or sniffing some glue, you're sipping on booze until your liver is bruised. <laughs> you look like you need some vitamins, dude. It's not giving you nutrients living off shrooms. <laughs> I might have said this before, and it's considerably mood. Uh, I've said this before, and it's considerably rude. But man, your mother is physically huge. <laughs> Her snacks are the size of a dinner for two. She drinks gravy through a straw that's bigger than you. <laughs> so I saw her sucking tiramisu through a didgeridoo. <laughs> Sucking tiramisu from a didgeridoo. I said, What the fuck are you doing? That's not how that instrument's used. <laughs> that instrument's used. She said, I know, but it sounds better when I fill it with food. <laughs> when, she, when, she grip, when she grips my dick, she will do this particular move where her wrist will twist like when I'm scribbling tunes. Then when she sits on the wood, she has an interesting view like a witch and a broomstick taking a trip to the moon. <laughs> Fucking hideous mood, but that bitch is the new definition of crude. She likes kissing my smooth nuts and tickles my gooch. I couldn't, I couldn't even say that with a straight face. She likes kissing my smooth nuts and tickles my gooch. Her only purpose is to touch balls like the tip of a cue. Let's fucking go, man. So, fun fact, I do have a mum. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, I was birthed and it isn't a tube. <laughs> but the shit you were just saying is getting quite rude and my brothers are both here and they're bigger than you. <laughs> If I didn't have the utmost respect for a venue, I'd be spilling some booze in honour of the lyrical dudes that have listened to you. Because you, your name rings a bell, kind of like tinnitus do. Your name rings a bell, kind of like tinnitus do. And uh, are you sure that he isn't a you? I just want to check that this isn't abuse. Like. <laughs> If you think that me and my team would ever kick it with you, mm -hmm. then you've got a different view to how we're picturing you. Mm -hmm. I don't think you could ever sit on a tune the way that me and my... <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I'm freestyling right now, I've kind of fucked this up. But who loves O'Shea? <laughs> did it and he was good at it but I'm doing it now I'm not that good you're just doing it anyway oh mate that's the coast of boy nah done fuck it you got end it on one end it on one end it on one, uh, end it on one. Um, I think I'll end it on two <laughs> Um, I, <laughs> if I had a little bit more respect for myself and a little for you, I would have chose to walk away to the bin with my booze and actually sleep instead of hitting the <laughs>